This is Dr. Alfredo Quinones Hinojosa. They call him Dr. Q. Here, taking out a life-threatening brain tumor. This is quite an operating room, huh? You get all your scans up, you get an intraoperative <laughs> CT scanner. Brett Johns Hopkins is one of the finest hospitals in the world. Is this your room? I mean, this is where this is my room. This is, uh, they build this specifically for our service. At 42, Dr. Q is at the top of his game. But life wasn't always like this. In fact, it's been a long journey from his hometown in Mexicali, Mexico. He started working at the age of five at his father's gas station. His family was poor, and things got worse when the business collapsed. In 1987, young Quinones headed north to the border. There became one choice that I knew I had to make, and I had the fence. I jumped the fence. I climbed the, climbed the fence between Mexico and the United States at age 19. His first job? Pulling weeds in California's Central Valley. I remember, I tell you, Dr. Gupta, my, my hands, the very same hands that now do brain surgery, right around that time, they had scars everywhere from pulling weeds that were bloody. This trailer was his home. But Quinones knew he could do better. He worked for the railroad. He got a job as a welder. That money paid for night school. He got a scholarship to the University of California, Berkeley. And from there, he went to Harvard Medical School. Did you ever think to yourself, you know what, I don't belong here? Yes, many times. But I think that that's also what has kept me on the top of my game. You know, back then when I was in medical school, I remember thinking, wow. I look at my classmates. As you know, you had some of them who trained at the best prep schools in the country, who came from the most distinguished families in the United States from tradition of education. And there was me, who barely had an education, but I was eager to learn. And I had, I always knew that I had something that others didn't have, and that was that fire in my belly that keeps me going. There is my girl right there. <laughs> the fire. Well, it still burns today, as Dr. Q takes out brain tumors and does research that he hopes will lead to better treatments. Do you guys ever sit around, you and your wife, and just pinch yourselves? I mean, your wife has literally seen you go from being a migrant farm worker to being here. Yes, I do. We, we think about it. But I feel very blessed that every day when I walked out of the operating room, of this operating room, and I go and give the patients the news that everything well went well in surgery and they hugged me. It's just the most rewarding moment that I can think of. Dr. Sanjay Gupta, CNN, Baltimore, Maryland.